Now, uh, you need to know how to uh, generate the equation based on the definition. Previously, ordinary differential equation is given in the question. But for this case, no differential equation in the question, but you can base on the definition of the problem to generate the equation of the cases. So in this case, we go to the definition of Newton's cooling law. So class, definition of Newton's cooling law is given by the rate which temperature of a body changes is actually proportional to the difference here, difference between temperature of the body in terms of we use notation E and remember here difference between temperature of the body and the temperature of the surrounding medium which is given by Ts. So in this case, based on this definition, how can we generate newton Cooling's law differential equation? In this case class, understood T is given by uh, temperature of the and Ts is temperature of the surrounding medium. So now it's given rate at which the temperature of the body changes means that the changes here is temperature of the body. Means that in this term or in the notation, this T is changed. So the rate of change for the temperature of the body, of course, it changes with respect to the time. Let's say we use here notation small t. It is proportional with the difference between temperature of the body T means that proportional with the difference of the temperature, sorry here, temperature of the body T minus temperature of the surrounding. So in this case, you just cannot leave your uh, differential equation like this because you need to put here equal. When we put here equal, it should be here equal with, we need to add here some constant, means that negative k times t minus ts. Okay, this one is a constant that this constant will give us the proportional rate of the temperature. In this case, why I put here negative? Because it's referred to decreasing temperature. When the temperature is decreasing, so it is a it will cool. So it is based on the cooling's law. In cooling's law, the temperature is decreasing, so we need to put the rate of the uh, rate of the proportional. Uh, changes of the temperature is a negative value. Means that here, based on this one, we will have the equation that represents Newton Coulomb's law is dt respect uh, dt over dt here time equal to negative k t minus t s. So class, now we go to this example. A cup of coffee at 190 degrees C is left in a room of 70 degrees C. So in this case, we have a cup of coffee with temperature 190 degrees C and this coffee is left in a room of 70 degrees C. At time t equal to zero, the coffee is cooling at 15 degrees C per minute. The first question asks you to find a function that models the cooling of the coffee. So how can we answer for the first question here? In this case, we have a cup of coffee based on Newton's cooling, cooling law. Actually, it is a temperature of the body because temperature of the medium. So this one, we can put it, we have T equal to 190 degree. And then this coffee is left in a room of 70 degree C. Means that the surrounding temperature now is given by 70 degree. And then you have here at time T equal to zero, then the coffee is cooling at 15 degrees C per minute. So per minute, the coffee will reduce its temperature of 15 degrees C. 
in this case, it is not just a constant. So it is based on time. When time change, the cooling rate also will be changed. So in this case, it is changes. It is changes of the uh, coffee temperature. So we can write in terms of dt and time is given by this small t respect to this time, which is given by. Actually, we need to put negative here because it is cooling means that this one is decreasing. When it is decreasing, so if it is negative 15 degree C. And then how can we find the function that models the cooling of the coffee? In this case, based on the definition of Newton cooling law, understood that the temperature of the body is given by negative K T minus T S. So now in this case, before you have uh, this one is a general solution. But to use this one, you need to find first the value of K. What is the value of K for this? differential equation so that later you can use it to answer the question number two. In this case, we need to find K. To compute K, what we need to do here, we have T 190 degree C, T S 70 degree C. So we substitute these two values in this differential equation means that we have DT equal to negative k 190 minus 70. But class, at initial, when time equal to zero, we know that this temperature is uh, cool. Is this When time t equal to zero, we know that the rate of change of the temperature per minute is given by negative 15. So here we can use this information to substitute in this dt respect to time, which is here we can have negative 15 equal to negative k 190 minus 70. When we solve this one, we'll got here k will be equal to 1 over 8. And then this K1 over 8, you need to substitute in this solution. So you will have finally your differential equation that represents this problem equal to negative K. This is your K, which is negative 1 over 8. And then T, we need, we need to leave it as a variable. You cannot substitute with the value because T is the rate of the temperature. So here, we use T minus and the T as here is given by 70. So minus 70. So class, this is our solution. But we have here the initial value problem for this one is at initial, the temperature of the coffee is equal to 190 degree because actually here a cup of coffee initially it is 190 degree c so this is the uh, differential equation of this problem but to find the function that models the cooling of the coffee you need to solve this differential equation how to solve this differential equation we back to the separable equation so i write again we have the e dt equal to negative 1 over 8 t minus 70 which is at time 0 we have temperature equal to 190 degree c so in this case to solve this one we can write in terms of separable equation which is dt divided by t minus 70 this one move to this side and this one move to the other side negative 1 over 8 D. And then we can integrate both sides here. So we'll got here ln T minus 70 
okay integrating this one you should understand you will got here ln t minus 70 equal to negative 1 over a t because integrating this one you will got t and then please put here plus c when we solve this one uh, means that you need to write this one in terms of function t. This one we've moved to this side. So we got t minus 70 equal to exponential of negative 1 over a plus c. So that I can write exponential negative 1 over a t multiplied by exponential of c. And this exponential of c, I can substitute with just constant e because this is constant. So I have here t minus 70 equal to a multiply exponential of negative exponential of negative 1 over a t. In this case, I can solve for t which is equal to a exponential negative 1 over 8t e plus 7t. E. But plus it is not yet finished because you have here initial value. Okay, you have initial value. So this one you need to substitute. When t equal to 0, you need to substitute in this equation to get here this a. So in this case, I have 190. When time 0, this t is 190 equal to a we don't know the value exponential of negative 1 over 8 times 0 because here t is 0 plus 70 so we'll got here 190 minus 70 move this one to this side a exponential of negative 1 over 8 0 you'll got exponential of 0 which is equal to 1 so 1 times a is a means that when we solve this one we got here it is equal 100 of 20 equal to a so we will have here class our t finally we write again in terms of function this one by substituting this a so we have equal to 120 exponential negative 1 over 8 e plus 70 this is the final answer for your question number one. Number two, you need to find how long will it take for the temperature of the coffee to reach 143 degrees C. So based on equation, uh, based on question one, we know that T e equal to 120 exponential negative 1 over 8 T plus 70. So now, in this case, we need to find when the temperature is 143 degree, how long it will take for the time. So here we need to find T. Okay, we need to find the question asks us to compute time when T equal to 143 degree C. So we need to substitute this T, which is 143, equal to 120, exponential negative 1 over 8T plus 7T. So now we want to find this T. We move this one to the side. We'll got here 73 equal to 120, exponential of negative 1 over 8 and then this one we move to the side that is you will have here 73 divided by 120 equal to exponential negative 1 over 8t when we solve this one we'll got here this one equal to 0 0.6083 equal to exponential of negative 1 over 8 so class, how to solve this one? You need to take ln on both sides. So you will have ln 0 0.6083 equal to ln exponential negative 1 over 8t. And then for this one, understood based on logarithm law, this one we can move to in front. That will have here ln 0.0. .0 0.6083 equal to negative 1 over 8t and ln t will be equal to 
one. And then plus this one, you can use your calculator to solve it. Means that you will have your negative one over eighty equal to negative zero point four nine seven one, which is when we solve this one, we can get t equal to three point nine seven six seven. So at temperature equal to one four three degrees C, the time here around three point nine eight minutes so this is the value of time when the temperature reach 143 degrees c so class this is how you can solve a problem using separable equation to recall back you have learned at the first step is to separate the equation in terms of hy times gn and then when the equation can be written as separable equation then we can solve using separable method means that you can rearrange the equation such that dependent variable on the other side and the independent variable on the other side and then you can integrate both sides to finally call the function of dependent variable you have learned the problem you start with a simple problem just mathematical equation then you go to application problem by the equation already mentioned in the uh, question and then the last one you have a uh, definition of cooling's law and based on that you can generate the differential equation for newton cooling's law and then you can answer you have a complicated more complicated problem that is the equation is not given in the equation but you can get the equation based on the definition of newton cooling's law so the next video will go to a new subtopic which is how can we solve differential equation for linear equation thank you class for your attention and see you in the next video